We had a former running back on before, and John Nitty. Now we go to a current running back, and it's our good friend Bilal Powell, who's very kind to join us. Bilal, it's Joe and Tyson. How you doing, man? I'm doing well. How about yourself, man? Well, dude, thank you for your time, man. I know it's your off season. You got a couple weeks left. So we definitely appreciate a few minutes. Oh man, I appreciate y'all for always having me on the show. Well, so Bilal, first of all, before we talk some football, how was your off season, man? You do anything good, like any vacations or go fishing or anything? Oh man, my uh, my off season it went it flew by to be honest with you, man. Like you said, it's a couple weeks left, and man, it's go time after that. Um, I mean, we did a couple of family vacations, and you know, my wife and I we did a vow renewal, so uh, we celebrated that seven years of marriage. So that was about the uh, biggest thing of my off season. So. Yes, Bilal, and, and I would like to know over the season. I want to talk to you a little bit about run, a little bit about the about football over the off season. Running back uh, Matt Forte retired. What was it like playing alongside him as a future Hall of Famer? Um, Matt, uh, I mean, he was he was a true professional, man. I mean, just the way he approached the game, the way he you know went on with his daily routine. everything that he did, he carried himself as a, a, a true professional, and you know it. it it pretty much showed throughout his career. He was a very consistent uh, running back throughout his career. And, and I told him the other day, I think he's one of the most underrated running backs that, that has been so successful throughout his career. What are some of the things that you may have learned from him? Oh, man, it's just it's just little things. Uh, you know, when you think you got it all figured out, uh, you know, you just learn every day uh, from him. Uh you know, he's just extra eyes on the sideline, you know, when I'm in and I'm doing my thing or uh, vice versa. But, uh, like, if I, if I miss something or if I think I've seen something, he's there to pretty much let me know, yeah, you saw it, hit it. And uh, he saw it, then that's a good thing. You know, Bilal, one of the, it seems like the NFL nowadays, it's like they, they like to rotate running backs. We have a lot of guys going for one series and they rotate a different series. Is that hard for you as a player to get going to kind of build up some momentum? I mean, I, I, I you know, I can't speak for everybody else. Um, I can only speak for uh, our organization. Uh, I think it's just something that, you know, you just fit a package. And, you know, you just try to get in a difference. Uh, you know, you just got to try to keep the defense on the on their toes. You just try to put the, the player in his best position to win, uh, whether if it's a scat back, power back. A guy that can do everything. I just, it's just it's just one of them systems where you just um you just keep throwing combinations at the defense. You know, and it's funny we had on Elijah McGuire last week. He's going to an event this weekend to help the big brothers and big sisters, and he he was so appreciative of how you and Matt Forte helped him and, and gave him insight. What are some things you can do to help a young running back? You have like Trenton Cannon this year. Like, how can you guys help them get you know caught up to speed in the NFL? I mean, just from my experience, I mean, you just have to become a student of the game. You know, he, I mean, Trenton, he, he's, he's, he's fast, as everyone uh, knows. But everyone else is pretty much fast on the defense side of the ball, too. But you just have to study the game. Um, you have to become a student of the game every day. And like I said before, man, you know, you learn something new every day. And – uh, just, just understanding the game and just uh, trying to take your football IQ to the next level. Bilal, uh, what are your early thoughts on Jeremy Bates' offense? You know, I like it so far, and, you know, that's that's something that I say every year. Um, you know, I'm excited to get back with the fellas here in a couple of weeks, um, see if we can just put it together day by day and, and see what, we, uh, what we've accomplished over the off season and, and through our training camp, man. Let's see if we can just kick it off for uh, the, the opener. Where do you feel like you fit the best within the offense? Because I know there's been talks about, you know, getting your running backs outside and catching the football, which you have great hands as well. Is that something that you look forward to? At, <laughs> whenever my number's call, uh, you know, I just go in and I do my job. Uh, you know what I mean? I, I try to put myself in the best position 
uh, training wise in the off season, whatever it is, catching the balls or doing extra things, working on explosion, anything that just helps his offense, man. I'm just trying to put myself in the best position to help the team win. Once again, we're speaking with Bilal Powell, who's very kind to come on our show again. We definitely appreciate this because we're huge fans of his. Bilal, you know, the big news is obviously the Jets drafting Sam Darnold. As a running back, what are some things that you can do to help a young quarterback, whether it's be like a safety valve or maybe help him pick up like maybe defenses? What are some things you can do to help a young quarterback? <laughs> Number one is keep a linebacker off of him, keep the pressure off of him. Uh, uh, just, you know, you know, I don't play that position, so you know, I, I can't really, I can't really speak for those guys over there. But just from my position, from my perspective, uh, my number one thing is just, just talk to them, get them comfortable, um, as, as comfortable as possible with the guys in the huddle. Uh, and and when he becomes comfortable with us, he becomes comfortable with the offense. And then we say, take care of him at the line of scrimmage. You know, allow him to go through his process, his his leading, his his, his reads and, and everything, and. Of course, he's a quarterback, man, and he can really spin the ball. He's really accurate, man, and uh, very humble. A guy that comes in and works hard every day. And you talked about keeping linebackers off, which is <laughs> – I absolutely love that because even watching your tape, I see how you definitely stick your nose in there, and you make it your priority to make sure that you block when it's time to block. I mean, that's something that's been a big part of your game as well. What do you do to improve on that skill set, and what do you do to, uh, in the off season to help balance yourself as well as a back? I mean, m- most of that stuff, you know, as you as you get older in, in this league, it, you have to rely on your technique. You know, you're not going to be as fast as you once were. You're not going to be as strong as you once were. So your biggest thing is just to rely on technique. You, you know, you rely on your preparation. Uh, my number one thing is – if I see the blitz before it happens, then I'm able to beat my guy to his to his spot, which allows me to get in a position and trust my technique to keep him off of my my quarterback. You know, and as you as you head into training camp in the season, do you set goals for yourself from an individual perspective? My number one, my my biggest goal, man, is just to come in in the best shape. You know, come in in the best situation to, to help my team. Uh, I, I've never set a, a goal as far as any pro ball or anything uh, for myself. Um, I think if you, me, I can't speak for everyone else, but for me, um, I try to put myself in the best position. And if that's coming in working hard, me getting a certain amount of yards rushing throughout the year gets me to the pro Bowl, it happens. But, you know, I just want to win uh, – and, and I'm all about uh, this team chemistry, man. When you look back at last year, what were some of the lessons that you learned during that season? Finish. <laughs> I mean, we just had to finish a few games, and you know, we we you know, we look up. We're in a totally different um, situation, uh, but you know, like the head man says, Ty says, man. You don't want to, you know, worry about too much of the past. You know, is what we're trying to build right now um, as an organization, uh, and just that's that's just taking it one day at a time. And Bilal, I'm sure you know by now, but Jeff fans are fired up for this season, man. Everybody can't wait to go to the first practice, the scrimmage. A lot of us are going to Washington to see you guys practice down in Washington. Do you have a message for the Jeff fans out there? Just be Jet fans. <laughs> I mean that's you know that's you know I don't I don't know any other fan but you know for the past this is my eighth year man it's just you know for the past seven years of my career it's just been just just nation gang green man bring that same energy you just keep bringing it you know and and we take it one one day at a time and we just all see this thing unfold. Yeah, and you know you had last year you had that dancing defense against the Buffalo Bills. Do you guys have some dance moves ready on offense, man? Because that, that was a big, that was a viral craze last year. Listen, man, I, I barely speak, let alone dance. So, but uh, <laughs> you know, you, you know, you appreciate. I, I appreciate those younger guys, man, with that energy that they bring on the defense. You know, defense is always uh, pretty much fired up, man. I don't care what level of football you're on. I feel like the defense is always 
fired up. But uh, hopefully we can take that same energy, uh, the, the dancing, and we can just win some games, man. Put it all together and win some games, and hopefully we can dance in the locker room, man. Dance all night, right? You got that right. Well, Al, we know you don't like doing interviews, man, so we definitely appreciate your time. The fans are fired to hear from you, so we really, really appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your off season, and we can't wait to see you in training camp. Man, I appreciate you for having me. Have a great night, man. Thank you.